you're finding them basically anywhere in, in the cracks of the stone foundation, under the floor, uh, under some boxes and other things. And we just were picking them up and putting them into pillowcases and then putting them into a bucket just to count them. Megan Lawrence doesn't usually have to search for the animals she rescues, but the call she got this weekend from a family near Regina was a bit unusual. Well, the family contacted us when they found a few garter snakes in their basement, and then they started finding more and more, and then they were finding them in their kitchen and the bedrooms, and they decided it wasn't a good idea to have them there anymore. Lawrence helps rehabilitate animals at the Salt Haven West Wildlife Rehab Center. She took stock of all the serpents they gathered and brought them back to shelter. Final tally, we had 102 by the end of the weekend. I get a feeling that that's about a normal count. Uh, so 100 garter snakes in the basement would not surprise me. Ray Poulin knows snakes. He says it's far from unusual for people to find Plains garter snakes that come inside. It's actually the most common call he receives when snakes are hunting for a warm place to spend the winter. I mean, and usually the snakes at this time are going down, right? So they're getting up to your house and going straight down one of the cracks in the, in the, in the soil around your house and, and finding a way in that way usually. In this case, that's exactly what these garter snakes did at that house. Now, Lawrence has 102 new mouths to feed and take care of, possibly for the winter, unless she can clear them for release in the wild before they start hibernation. They eat things uh, in the wild, such as fish, earthworms, frogs, and small rodents and insects. So we could use things like uh, donations towards earthworms and minnows to feed them for the winter if we're going to keep them. Poulin says if you don't want a slithering slew of these guys around your house, well, they're perfectly safe to pick up, and you can put them in pillowcases or buckets, just like Megan did, but you don't want to just drop them off nearby outside because they're looking for somewhere warm to hibernate and they might just come back. So he says you should check for cracks around your soil, around your house, or cracks in your foundation, unless you want to live in a house that has two beds, two baths, and a snake den. Tori Gillis, CBC News, Regina.